Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we saw chapter 5, exercise 5.5, question number 8. Sin x whole to the power x plus sin inverse square root of x. We have to differentiate this by applying the logarithmic property. First, let us take this as y. Next, we differentiate this by dividing into two parts. So, this I am taking as one part and this value or this function I am taking as second part. Let us take this as u. Let u is equal to sin x to the power x and v is equal to sin inverse square root of x. Next, here if we write this value, we get y is equal to sin x to the power x. We have taken as u. So, y is equal to u plus sin inverse of square root of x we have taken as v. So, u plus v. Next, differentiate this with respect to x. We get dy by dx is equal to du by dx plus dv by dx. Now, name this as equation 1. In the next step, we have to differentiate this function and this function. First, let us differentiate this u is equal to sin x to the power x. Here, first we have to take log on both sides. So, we get log u is equal to log sin x to the power x. Next, for this, we can apply this logarithmic property log m to the power n is equal to n log m. Here, m is nothing but sin x, n is x. So, we get after applying this property, log u is equal to n, n is x, x log m. m is here sin x, so x log sin x. In the next step, we have to differentiate this with respect to x. So, here we get d by dx of log u is equal to d by dx of x log sin x. Next, here we have to differentiate this. Derivative of log x is 1 by x. But here we have the variable u. So, we have to write the derivative as 1 by u. Along with that, you need to write the derivative of again u. So, du by dx is equal to. Here we can split this into two function. One is x. Another one is log sin x. And apply the product rule. So, product rule says, write the first function as it is, find the derivative of the second function, so d by dx of log sin x, plus write the second function as it is, log sin x, find the derivative of the first function, d by dx of x. 1 by u, du by dx is equal to x into derivative of log sin x is, see derivative of log x is 1 by x, here in the place of x, we have sin x. So, derivative of log sin x is 1 divided by sin x. Then further, we have to apply the chain rule here and we have to differentiate this. So, d by dx of sin x plus log sin x, derivative of x is 1. Next, take this u to the right hand side. So, that will come in the numerator du by dx is equal to u into x divided by sin x, derivative of sin x is cos x plus log sin x. Next, replace the u value which we have taken at the beginning as sin x to the power x. So, write that value in the place of u, sin x to the power x into, next see here, combine these two, cos x divided by sin x is cot x. Then we have here remaining value x. So, we get here x cot x plus log sin x. Now, we got the derivative of du by dx. Next, name this as equation 2. In the next step, we have to find the derivative of the function v. v is equal to sin inverse square root of x. Let us find the derivative of this. See, we know that the derivative of sin inverse x is 1 by square root of 1 minus x square. So, this formula we have to apply here. So, first, in this case, we are not applying any logarithmic property. Instead, directly by applying the derivative formula, we are writing the answer. So, differentiate with respect to x. 
dv by dx is equal to d by dx of sin inverse square root of x. See, apply this formula to find the derivative of this. Here we have x and here in the place of x we have square root of x. So, we get 1 divided by 1 minus x square we have. Here we have square root of x. So, square root of x square. This you have to write. D by then again C we have square root of x. So you have to differentiate again this by applying the chain rule. So finding the derivative of square root of x is necessary. Suppose just if you have x then directly you can write because derivative of x is 1 always. But here square root of x derivative we have to find. So d by dx of square root of x. dv by dx is equal to 1 divided by See here we have square root of x and then we have a square. Square root of x if you write in the form of power we get x to the power half. Then we have square. So this and this we can cancel. So remaining is here x. So 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x. Next here we have square root of x. This we can write as square root of x as x to the power half. Then to find the derivative of this you have to apply this formula d by dx of x to the power n is equal to n into x to the power n minus 1 where here n value is half. So we get n half into x to the power n minus 1 half minus 1. dv by dx is equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 minus x into half into half minus 1 gives minus half so x to the power minus half. Next see we have x to the power minus half this we can write as 1 divided by x to the power half or we can write this as 1 divided by square root of x that is x to the power minus half is equal to 1 divided by square root of x. So we get here this as 1 divided by square root of x along with that we have half here so write it together dv by dx is equal to write this first constant values 1 divided by 2 square root of this is inside the square root symbol this is also inside the square root symbol so we can combine and write it together 2 into square root of 1 minus x into x next multiply this x into x x sorry x into 1 x x into x gives x square so dv by dx is equal to 1 divided by 2 square root of x minus x square. Next name this as equation 3. Next we got the equation 2 and 3 values. Substitute these values. Now we have to substitute these values in equation 1. So du by dx value is this one. Sin x to the power x, x cot x plus log sin x. So write that value plus dv by dx value just now we got. So write that value. So we get dy by dx is equal to sin x to the power x into x cot x plus log sin x plus 1 divided by 2 into square root of x minus x square. Thanks for watching.